What's up, Roughnecks? This is Pwn Source Rex here with Pwn Source Rex Gaming, and today we have another Warp Fire Minis crate. So this is the crate that comes where you choose Age of Sigmar or 40k, and you pick three factions, and they send you something in it. This is the second crate that I've got. Now I obtained this crate through a subscriber um, who ordered this crate for me when my subscription was canceled by the owner because. I was unsatisfied. Now, that is the short of the long. The short, the real short of the long is he refunded me for the crate and canceled my subscription. I had asked if I could continue with subscription of another type, and he declined that because of my last video. So my subscriber, my loyal subscriber who got me this box, um, provided it for me today, and we're going to open it up because we have not come to the determination if the Warfire Minis uh, monthly subscription where you pay $25 for this and get $40 worth of Warhammer gear or Games Workshop gear is worth it. So today we're gonna take another look. Let's see what we got. Man, I hope there's not a rhino in this. So, yes, let's take a look at this. I'm kinda nervous kind of nervous. So in this one, we got a sticker. We did not get a sticker in our last one. Here's a paper. It says nothing. And here is a baggie with minis in it. Let's take a look. All right. So in this baggie, so this is an Orc, Drukhari, and Harlequin box. And in it, we have got, looks like, four miniatures, and I imagine they must be Drakari, because they do not look like Harlequin, and they are definitely not Orcs. So we'll have to look these up and find out. That is not too, too bad. We'll look them up to find out what the um, going rate for these are, uh, and we'll let you know, Roughnecks. I'm actually not that upset about these. I don't know how old they are either, um, and I have no idea what figures they are. I will have to have somebody look them up. They, whoever did the glue job on these did not do a very good job, but that's okay. The paint job on these is okay. Um, so yeah, that's what we got, you guys. Four minis and the sticker. Uh, as far as like excitement and all that goes, I'm not very excited. I mean, it's only four minis, but I imagine this one right here is probably worth something. That's why I only got four. Um, these I can't imagine are worth anything at all. Maybe a couple dollars, but this is probably worth like 20 or 30 or something. Looks like a leader of some sort with a huge halberd. We'll find out. Thank you so much for watching. All right, Roughnecks, we looked these up. And we have the succubus, and we have three racks. These are racks. Okay, I looked these up on the Games Workshop website. So let's take a look at that real quick. So here we are at the Games Workshop website under Warhammer 40K under Jukari. We go down. Here are the racks right here. Let's take a look at those. Here they are right here, racks. That is five for $36.00. So that comes out to $7.20 a piece. And then we had the succubus right here, which is $25. Which is right here, $25. So when you add all that up, three of the uh, racks come out to $21.60. And plus $25 equals $46.60. So we got $46.60. Six dollars and sixty cents worth of minis in that crate, and I think that's a good deal. So if I played Drukari, this would be a huge deal. I mean, this is this is a decent box. Um, I mean, this mini alone was worth what my subscriber paid for this. Um, I don't want to reveal that subscriber's name in case we order boxes in the future. Um, the owner did cancel my box. Uh, and I don't want him to cancel my subscribers. So 
uh, my subscriber might may want to use the service for himself or herself and um, that's that's how I feel about that so at any rate forty six dollars and sixty cents worth of minis for an army that you use would be absolutely amazing this is an amazing box for somebody who plays Drakari it is so the service would definitely be worth it I chose Drakari because they look like they're difficult to paint so I I will enjoy painting these I know that some are already sort of painted a little bit but I'll probably just paint over that and change it to my own scheme or uh, whatnot because my main armies are the orcs and the Adaptus Sororitas, which I'm actually thinking right now about making my main army Adaptus Sororitas because I've only got the starting collection of the orcs. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Um, and let me know what you think about this crate in the comments below. I, uh, hopefully I'll get a hold of the owner and he will allow me to continue my subscription in the future. Uh, if not, well, I'll save 25 bucks a month, right? So, anyway, make sure to take a second to subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you, Roughnecks. And uh, if you want to chat, I'm on Discord. I'm on Twitter. If you want to leave a comment, comments below, I will definitely get back to you. And, uh, you know, check out the merch store. Check out Patreon. We now have our first patron, which is Dano. He is, uh, that is absolutely amazing. I am so glad that he's supporting me in that way. I appreciate him, and uh, hopefully the community appreciates him as well. He is a great asset to this channel, and I'm going to start making content over there for patrons uh, like Dano. So, at any rate, hopefully if I don't see you in the comments below, I'll see you in the next video.